Today I want to tell you about how to speak better English if you are a Korean native speaker. So this is for all the Korean students out there who need help with their pronunciation. So the first word that I hear my Korean students have problems with is the word leisure. So the word leisure is hard because it has a z sound in the middle of it. So for example, in the sentence, I enjoy doing many leisure activities on the weekends. So this sound is not like s and it's not like z. It's more in the middle of your mouth. Zh. Leisure. Also with the vowel sounds fill and feel. So notice the relaxed vowel fill. I need to fill out my application compared to the word feel. Notice how I stretch my, my um, lips and my cheeks out a little bit more to make the E sound. Feel. I feel really great today. The other sound that Koreans have a problem with in English is the P sound. So for example, in the word provide, provide. Notice how P has a voiceless sound in the beginning of that word, provide. Um, the other word that is difficult for many Koreans is the word abroad. Even though it's a simple word, um, oftentimes you put the stress on the wrong syllable. So it's not a broad, it's abroad. Like for example, if you're living abroad in the United States right now, studying English. And the last word is available. So the V sound is oftentimes hard for Koreans. V, available. Make sure you open your mouth more and put your teeth out so that your top teeth hit your bottom lip on the word, on the V sound, available. Okay, that's all for now. If you need any more help with your English, just let me know. Bye-bye.